We thought we heard an ambulance pulling up at one of the hospitals. We do have another person has been taken to a hospital. Jeff Cole up in the newsroom. Well, look, uh, as you guys know, I do the investigative reporting here. I work with uh, our senior producer, Gary Serka. So we are jumping in here to try to figure out what it is we can find about the bridge here in question. And now I'm working, frankly, off of Paulsboro Fire Department website along with a uh, news reporting that was done at the time. And it does, in fact, appear that back in August 23rd of 2009, this bridge did, in fact, collapse and fall in. So I'm actually going to read this sort of raw material coming right off of the fire department's website as it sits there. And what it reported back in August uh, 23rd, 2009, was that a train carrying coal cars derailed early Sunday morning around 4 a.m. The trains came off the tracks after the railroad bridge over the Mantua Creek collapsed. The tracks were torn up from the bridge up to the crossing near the Penn Line Road. So it does appear there is history here. This material, some of this material is on our website as well. The Conrail Bridge over the Mantua Creek goes the news reporting on this at the time buckled early Sunday as uh, Sunday as the end of the train largely carrying cars loaded with coal passed over it derailing up to 16 cars and rendering it useless it is a key transportation artery to the Delaware River industry so there apparently is some sort of history here now let me just work back to a, a later part of this news report on this back in uh, August of 2009 where someone is quoted here is saying uh, that uh, over the years there, they had continually heard a boom, 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 a noise as trains cross this bridge, and that the bridge has something, uh, the bridge with an iron A-frame, an iron A-frame that dates back to 1873. So clearly it is an old bridge, it is a bridge with history, and it is a bridge that apparently collapsed back on August 23rd, 2009. Now, what we're going to look at here is whose responsibility is the bridge, mm -hmm. who would inspect the bridge, what kind of repairs would have happened at the time of this apparent collapse in 2009, all of which we are scurrying on right now. But at least the initial reports and the initial look at this point as we try to dig into this thing is this thing's had a history and a history of a collapse back in 2009. We were talking to one of the spokespeople at, uh, for Conrail who wasn't, you know, very forthcoming with information. Now we find out that Conrail does own that bridge. Well, it, it, from this information that I have here, it doesn't indicate to me that Conrail owns it. Conrail does apparently have control, I know, of certain bridges that it uses. That will certainly be something that we're going to dig into here and try to get our hands around pretty quickly and, and get it right back on TV. And, Jeff, you know it. There's no question now in the days and weeks ahead we're going to be looking at our bridges again. How many times have we done reports on the, on the state of our bridges in this area? In fact, already on Facebook, people are telling us about bridges and overpasses in that area where they yeah. say spikes have fallen off or pieces of concrete have fallen, you know, when the trains go by. So it's almost a renewed look at this ongoing problem maintenance of bridges yeah. railroad bridges automobile bridges are huge public policy questions in both this region and this country investigative reporters have worked these stories over and over again the question is investment uh, in these kinds of properties what we want to in fact spend to shore them up so those are the kinds of questions we're going to ask here yeah. how much were they looking at this thing uh, how sure was it? What did they do in 2009? But these have been ongoing questions about these kinds of structures. And not to get political, but the president always talks about how to turn the economy around. One way is infrastructure, and I know that our former governor, Ed Rendell, is always talking about that too, infrastructure. Hey, uh, real quickly here, uh, and you got to be careful with Twitter because people can give you just all sorts of information, but somebody who lives in the area, David, says uh, that bridge was supposed to be repaired again tomorrow. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Mm. We'll have to check that out and see if that is true. Right. Hey, Jeff, thanks a lot. Thank you got you. it. Hang